Hello, I'm Gina Harris and welcome to today's Soul Food and Grace Moment. Today's message is on Colossians 1-2, which states, To God's holy people in Colossae, the faithful brother and sister in Christ, grace and peace to you from our God, from God our Father. I'm going to share a little story of a four-year-old named Ruby. She loved to run. She loved to sing and dance and play like most four-year-olds. But she started complaining to her parents about a pain that she had in her knees. So her parents took her in for tests only to find out that she was in stage four cancer. Ruby's hospital stay lingered on and she was there even through Christmas. And that is when one of her nurses got this idea to place a mailbox outside of her room so that her friends and family could send letters full of prayers and encouragement to her. Then the message went out on Facebook and that's when the volume of mail began pouring in from friends and complete strangers. I think she received more than like a hundred thousand letters, but you know what? It changed that little girl's attitude and it meant the world to her. You know, even at the age of four, it gave her encouragement, support, and love. And Paul's letter to the people of Colossae was a letter of hope for continued fruitfulness, knowledge, strength, endurance, and patience. And that's in chapters 10 through 11 or verses 10 through 11. Just knowing that someone was praying nonstop for them, strengthen them to, to stay steady in their faith in Jesus. So, you know, our words of encouragement and prayers can help others so much, a lot more than what we think. You know, sometimes we do maybe feel that our words may not make a difference, but I'm here to encourage you today to pray for others, to encourage others, because it absolutely does make a difference and it doesn't cost us anything, right? And maybe this message is for you today to write that letter to someone that you have been thinking about writing to. And so, God, we come to you today to ask to bring someone to our hearts and minds today that may need the encouragement and we just thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you for that. <clears throat> and we just ask to place them on our hearts and, and so that we can be that blessing of hope for our fellow brother or sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus name. Amen. And now place your hands over your heart and claim this power. I am today. I use my words of encouragement love and support today. One more time. I use my words of encouragement, love and support today. Have a blessed day, you guys. I love you and we'll see you again tomorrow.